Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my September favorites. I cannot believe that it's actually that time of the month. Like what? So I'm just going to share with you guys some products that I've been loving for the month of September. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then click this button right here. And you can subscribe to my channel so that way you never miss another video from me. I post videos every week, so definitely subscribe so you stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys some things that I've been loving. I discovered some really good things in the month of September. And then there's also some things that I've just been loving for some time. So I'm just going to share with you guys what they are. So my first favorite for September is the Morphe 350 palette. I was actually super late to this bandwagon and when I finally got on the bandwagon in August, I was so excited. Like I use this palette a lot for the past month. I just have been really loving it and it's so amazing. Like it's definitely worth the hype. So yeah, this is definitely my first favorite. I have been loving this palette. So next is going to be the YSL Souf de Clot powder. Um, this is a translucent powder and I heard about this powder from Jackie Ina and the price will make you want to cringe but it's really really good you guys like I have been hooked on this ever since I purchased it. I have not even touched my Laura Mercier powder. It's been it's amazing. I have been loving this powder. It just makes you look so flawless like I can't even explain to you like it's just really good if you can get a sample of it or something I don't know if they give powder they probably do but um check it out I got it at Nordstrom so try Nordstrom I don't think they have it at Sephora but I definitely got it in store at Nordstrom so um so if you can get a sample and try it out it is really good you guys it's good stuff the next product I want to quickly mention is the Tarte contour kit with the um this is the Shayla uh the Tartist and Shayla combo um Tartus and Shayla collab. I have been murdering this palette. This is um, my favorite contour shade ever. And you can see like I have been going ham with on this. Like, I have not contoured with any other powder products since I got this. Next is another bandwagon product that I got on. It's the Kylie lip kit. I got the shade Brown Sugar and I also got Leo which I haven't tried yet but I'm going to do a video with that pretty soon. Um, yeah, I have been loving these. I have been wearing brown sugar probably since I got it for like the past couple weeks. And it's just, the formula is really good. Sometimes, some days it's more dry than other days. So I feel like you definitely have to have like a lip balm on before you apply it. But it's so pretty. Like I love the color. I love the smell. It's just, I think she did a really good job with these. And the packaging is really cool. Like in person, I love the packaging like 10 times more than when I see it like on camera. Like I didn't really care for it, but in person it looks really cool. So yeah. Okay, so next is another hyped up product and it's the Tarte, um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And when this came out, I kept seeing like shape tape everywhere and I was like, what are people, like what is the shape tape that people are talking about? Like I didn't realize it was a concealer. This concealer is really 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 good it is the perfect consistency it's not as thick as the Kat Von D but it's almost there it's like right there like, I think they maybe added more shades in but I use the shade deep which works perfect like I wouldn't switch to a different shade this shade works really good for me um, so yeah you try this out and see how you like it because I think you will love it also really quickly want to mention my glow kits I still have been loving this baby Golden Bronze is life. I love it. I have been mixing it with the Jouer um, Bronze, Jouer Highlights, and this is it here. This is in the shade Topaz, and I love this product. The only thing that I hate about it is it breaks so easily. What it looks like right now is um, I kind of just want to get a container, like a container like this and put it in there so next I want to talk about this a little guy here this is from from red carpet manicure and it's a professional LED light so this is actually a gel light so you're able to do gel nails at home and that's I have them on right now I have been loving this little machine I'm able to do my gel nail gel nails at home 
and it's really cool like I'm really excited about it I've had these on for I think a week this is this color it's called simply adorable it's also from red carpet manicure next is my primer that I've still been loving so this is the Canaan Austin primer protect mattifying primer I have still been loving this primer and what I really really like about it is knowing that it has SPF 50 in it it just really makes me want to gravitate towards it because I get a really high dose of SPF um, so that's really amazing to me. So I love it. The next two things are skincare products. The first one is a face cleanser from First Aid Beauty. And this is just the, what is this? Just a face cleanser. Um, I have been loving this product and I'm completely out of it. I did a new one. But it's really good. I love it because I can take my makeup off with this and it doesn't burn my eyes. Like I literally just rub it over my eye and I just rinse it off. It, rem it reminds me of the Purity Face Wash but I think it's a little bit more gentle because it doesn't really have any fragrance in there. I think it's um, good for sensitive skin. It's just, yeah, it's fragrance free actually. So yeah, it doesn't have any scent to it and I just feel like it's... I feel like it works really well. It takes off my makeup and it does everything all in one step. Um, does it say that? Does it say... Yeah, it removes makeup. So, yeah. I love using this because specifically my eye makeup, I don't really have to worry about it because other products, other cleansers do kind of bother my eyes. This one definitely does not. So try this out. It definitely, if you have sensitive skin, First Aid Beauty is known to be great for sensitive skin. So try them out and see how you like it. I'm actually working on my skincare routine. I got a bunch of new products and I'm definitely testing them out to see how I like them. One of them I already know I love, so I'm going to mention it really quickly. This is from Sunita's. I have been really loving this uh, moisturizer. It is an oil-free moisturizer, so it's perfect if you have oily skin like I do. And it dries really nicely. It's not thick at all, so I love that. What I really love about this is that I could wear it in the daytime. Like a lot of moisturizers, I could not wear them in the daytime because they just make me way oily. And this does not do that. It's for oily skin. It is oil free. You're able to, I'm able to moisturize my skin under my makeup and feel like completely okay with that. Like a lot of times I want to wear a moisturizer before I put on my primer, but it just really scares me because a lot of times it makes my makeup more oily. It's a lightweight uh, moisturizer that's not going to leave you looking greasy. So I absolutely love this moisturizer. I do have some other products um, that I am trying out like I said and I will let you guys know how I feel about them and I will do like a full skincare routine once I you know am comfortable with them and I feel like they work for me so yeah love this guy it's really really good I think it's cosmeceutical grade I think that's how you say it but yeah it's really good so yeah that's it for my favorites um physically I just wanted to say another favorite of mine was definitely Generation Beauty New York it was amazing. It was fun. It was exciting. I was drained towards the end, but it was such a good time. It was so amazing to meet so many beautiful, gorgeous people. And I just felt so comfortable being there because like everyone was there because they love makeup. And it's just so cool to be in an environment where you just belong. You know, it's just really awesome. Like I was touching up my makeup and it just felt like I literally pulled out my powder and was touching up and like typically I kind of feel self-conscious doing that because like in a regular society like that may you know people may be judging you and I feel like you just are judge free there and it's just very it was really cool I get I got to hang out with Andrea and Faye they're both youtubers that I watch and love and it's just it was just so fun the brands were so nice so much good stuff like Too Faced gave away their concealer like like it was just amazing if you have the opportunity to go to Generation Beauty I definitely think you should I cannot wait till the next one I can go to I'm not saying this that I'm going to like the next one I have in mind that I want to go to I'm just gonna put that in the environment right now <laughs> I'm just kidding but I definitely want to go to Gem Beauty LA um, I think this one I think that one is in January I don't know how realistic that is for me, but um, I definitely want to get to that one somehow. So anyways, you guys, that is it for my favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.